first of all let us iterate through the rows okay as key and row okay and i'll need to do this again where is it let it combine and then if in array so i'll check for the row email okay if this is in array exist okay then what we will do is dollar row message is going to be email exist okay that's how we are doing it and then we will push it to this error rows i'll have the key and that will be the row okay and then i'll just return the rows okay and here so what we are doing here is this okay we have successfully if we find that you know there is a, uh, there is a problem then we send the wrong data here and then we'll say return dollar this valid okay so this will be either true or it will be false okay and now let's go back to a controller okay and here what we are going to do is so this is header everything is fine in here we need to call if not dollar import user import sorry check so we are sending the rows and the header okay if this is false okay that means we have some error in our csv so we'll have request session flash we'll have a variable key which is error rows okay and we need a getter a public function to get the error rows so this is check import data why don't we have a function here a public function uh, we'll name it get error rows get error rows okay and return this error rows okay and so in this we'll have dollar user import get error rows so we have put that array in our variable we'll flash what what we're we going to flash we will say error in data okay correct and re sorry re-upload return redirect back fair enough and if this is all good what we are going to do is dollar user import create users okay this is going to take again the header and the rows okay and we already have the logic so we'll just copy this from here come over here we'll have a public function which is create users right uh, what are we taking here we are taking the header and the rows we put this here import the user class hmm. i think it's already here is it yeah okay and because this is a this is inside um loop so let's add a transaction and in that we do this for each okay um, so what is going to happen is either we import all the users or we don't so that's what i want to do okay and yeah i think that's about it so let's test so where is my excel this is an excel file 
with one two three four five five users okay so these are all unique users this email this and everything is good so let's first test if our happy path is working so i come over here how many users do i have in my table i have two that's fine so import select the file and we have used and imported let's check our database and we have one two three four five okay so that's working but that was working previously as well now let's mess with the data okay and that's why i have this so this one goes away so this is a duplicate email address why don't we make this a wrong email address and obviously i'll have me in the data as well so reach me at roy.com okay and we have so basically we have one error in email and we have two duplicates so let's try it out select the file load and we have this oh by the way i forgot so we are showing the error message why don't we do one thing also which is get rid of this and for now just dynam the errors okay try it out again it's oops no 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 what is going on refresh select the file hmm that's strange it should have shown me the errors oh that's a mistake from my end error underscore rows is what we need to take inside the variable so let's try it out again user import hit upload and yeah we have this so you can see it says gracie white invalid email this email exists and this email exists only thing is we need to sort the array because ideally this was my first record you can see the key is zero then one and then four but that's okay a small tweak which i am sure you can do but yeah that's about it that's how we have done a little bit of validation in our import code and we are i am planning to do it um you know as the next step where uh, basically what we will do is we will import all the records which we feel are correct and the rest we will show in here and maybe we can create a view component where the user can actually you know start editing the um uh, data and save it anyway so that's uh, what's the plan is we will use um, and invite emails and queues and everything so yeah stay tuned and you know if you like my videos do click on the thumbs up icon and do subscribe to my channel